What if a routine flight cruising peacefully above the clouds was already doomed years before it ever took off? On May 25, 2002, China Airlines Flight 611 departed Taipei's Chiang Kai-shek International Airport bound for Hong Kong. The aircraft was a Boeing 747-200, a giant of the skies, carrying 225 passengers and crew. The weather was calm. The flight plan was routine. Nothing suggested that this journey would end in one of aviation's most chilling structural failures. 20 minutes after takeoff, as the aircraft climbed to cruising altitude over the Taiwan Strait, radar screens suddenly went silent. Flight 611 did not issue a distress call. It did not attempt an emergency descent. In less than seconds, the aircraft broke apart in mid-air, scattering debris across the sea near the Penghu Islands. All 225 people on board were killed instantly. The, fatigue cracking the investigation would uncover a haunting truth. 22 years earlier, the same aircraft had suffered a tail strike incident during landing. Instead of a full structural replacement, a temporary repair was improperly installed. Over decades, microscopic cracks slowly spread through the fuselage hidden beneath layers of metal and paint. Each pressurization cycle weakened the structure further. Every flight brought the aircraft closer to failure. On that afternoon in 2002, the metal could no longer hold. At cruising altitude, the fuselage ruptured violently, tearing the plane apart faster than human reaction could respond. China Airlines Flight 611 was not brought down by weather, terrorism, or pilot error. It was destroyed by time, neglected repairs, and a single decision made decades earlier. The tragedy reshaped maintenance oversight worldwide, reminding aviation authorities of a hard truth. In the sky, the past is never truly behind you, because sometimes the most dangerous moment of a flight is one that was set in motion years ago.